Power. 
continue to praise. It is your gift. Welcome, Pastor. The power you have is not from man. It is from God. So why are we sitting on it? Why are we pretending like we have nothing? Hallelujah. I went to bed last night. If I seem a little strange, but I hope you understand. Everybody understand English? Or do I need translation? You're good, you're good. Everybody's good. Great. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I have to learn Spanish right away. Susie's here. Amen. Welcome, Pastor. God bless you. And as I was sleeping at my usual time, one o'clock, two o'clock, clock. Anyway, I fell asleep somewhere in between that. And all of a sudden, I felt welcome. I felt, I can describe it only as lightning bolts. It is best described that way. Okay. It hit me in my heart. Okay. And in my eyes, I could see sparks fly, fly. It hit me so hard that I jumped out of the bed and I stood up. I said, God, am I having a heart attack? You know, I'm feeling myself. Because it really felt like it was powerful. And um, my husband's sleeping. I decided I'm not waking him. If needs be. And the enemy says, go to the hospital. Listen to the enemy. Straight away. You're having a heart attack. And I'm sitting there feeling. Everything feels fine. I'm breathing fine. My legs felt a little weak. Glory to God. And I'm standing there and I'm trying to figure out what's happening. But as I walked into my closet, like you all know, and I was talking to the Lord, I said, Lord, was that a heart attack with you? And the Lord reminded me of his promise. It's not over yet, child. It's just the beginning. The devil might even come to you and he might make it look like it's over. But when God is for you, what does the word say? Who can be against you? When God is for you, when you have the fire of the Holy Ghost, I tell you this morning I walked around in a cloud. Now that I'm preaching, I'm coming. Lightning bolt flying out of my own heart. Come on. I stood when the power of God hits you. When God comes, when the fire of the Holy Ghost comes, you can't sit still. You can't lay down like you have no sense. You gonna get up and you gonna start praying. You gonna start praising. You're going to stop worshiping. You know why? Because you recognize that God is in control. God is in control. He said, I went away so that I could prepare you a place. But I'm coming back again. Come on. I'm talking to the church about turning again to God. Let us forget. And I'm preaching out of 2 Chronicles 15. Verse 1 through 6. Hallelujah through seven. Praise God. All you need to do like Asa did when he got the message from the prophet. Asa called his people. He said, come on, let's turn again. Let's get rid of our idols. Let's put down all the things that are causing us separation from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to separate. It's time for the church to separate. It's time for the fire of God to come and burn in the midst of us. Come on here. When Moses met, had to go up to the mountain and the fire, the people saw the fire burning. Praise God. Moses looked at the fire. He was a natural man. But Moses had a destiny. Moses understood 
is gone. The fire is burning. But I'm going in, Lord Jesus, somebody up in this house, help me. The fire is burning, but I'm going in. Because in the fire is my God. He's in the fire. The Bible said Moses walked up and left the people. And he went up into the cloud. Come on. And that fire, oh my God, it didn't consume it because it was a special fire for him. Some of us are burning. Oh my God, we're burning. Lord God, when, Lord, when? How long is this going to be? How long do I have to go? How long? How long? Every time it looks like I, I, I'm getting out, another thing happened, and I'm back to that day. You know why we keep having that? Because we're not laying down everything. Just keep on pressing. Just keep on praying. Just keep on seeking God. Don't worry about your stuff. Ziglag burnt. Ziglag burnt. Ziglag burnt. Nothing left in Ziglag. But guess what? Nothing that belonged to David and the men with him was destroyed. Church, God is able to keep your stuff. The stuff that is dear to you. The stuff that you won't hold up before him. But you will say, Lord, it all belongs to you. And you begin to seek him. Return to God again. In fasting and prayer. Return again to the Lord your God. Return to that place uh, where you can find uh, peace with God. Where you can have joy on the inside. Come on. The church is so distraught. Huh? How is it that we belong to the lights of the world and her heads are hanged down and we are how is it that um, um, pray for me man it's tough I don't know if I can make it oh my god this is just too much for me uh, something's wrong something's wrong something's wrong we're supposed to be murmuring. What happened to the people that murmured? Come on, church. The people that murmured in the desert, they never made it out of the desert. They died in the desert because they murmured against God who was supplying their daily Somebody put your hand up here if you don't have any food to eat. You haven't had any food to eat for the last week. Uh -oh. <laughs> Put your hands up if you don't have clothes. Shoes, oh my gosh. Mm. Won't go into that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands up. <laughs> he said he would supply our needs. Every day he meets our need. It doesn't matter that I mightn't have a steak today for the meat lovers or a nice rib or chicken or whatever your fancy fish you know some salmon some paella let me go back there paella paella help me out come on paella huh? it doesn't matter I don't have the conk and the shrimps and all of the stuff in it. If I could only afford to put shrimps with some veggies and mix it up and eat it, guess what? He supplied my need. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to look at what God is doing so that we don't remain. But we are revived. It's revival time. It's restoration time for the church. We need to recognize who our God is, who we are, and revive ourselves. I said Asa didn't wait for God to come down from heaven and fix his business. When Asa got the message, why you're in the place you're in, Asa called his brethren. I can't listen. Come on, guys. We're going over 
into that place where we go worship God. And they went together. Another thing that's messing up the church is unity. Amen. Amen. It's messing us up bad. Yes, yes, yes. Tearing us apart. Yes, City that is not together, guess what? It's going to fall. We've got to think like one. We've got to think about each other. we got to love each other. Even when you can't stand that sister or brother because they get on your nerves with something they do. But you've got to there's a difference. My love is different. I'm, oh my God, the person get on. <laughs> they get on. They get on our nerves. Let's be real. I'm a very real person. You get on my last nerve. But I love you because God loves you. And I'm ready to put my foolish feelings aside and love you like Jesus said. Because we're on a journey together. We're walking together. We're going into the kingdom together. Hallelujah. We can't separate ourselves because there is only one God. Hallelujah. One Father, one Son, one Holy Ghost. Therefore, we have to be as one. Praise God. I'm taking up time. Hallelujah. But God is good. Amen. God is good. Amen. Turn again unto the Lord. Don't allow the things that you're seeing in the land and experiencing to separate you from God. But turn again unto God. He is a covenant keeping God. He is a God that does not verily change. Praise God. Bring your reasonable service to him. Your sacrifices. Your sacrifice of self. Bring yourself, the church called prayer. Some come and some sleep. No, 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 no. Everybody's got to go and pray at the same time so that the Holy Ghost can come and touch every life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They offered unto God their service. Now the church don't like to make noise anymore. But if you read this chapter, because the word tells us it's too noisy. As soon as I open my mouth, I'm in a different decibel. You all know that. If you talk to me in a quiet way, it's fine. But when this is in my hand or I'm a little excited on the inside, it's never going to be my little quiet voice. I don't know how. Because I depend on the Holy Ghost. So when I come in place with him, guess what? I expect the Holy Ghost to show up. And I'm open to him so he shows up before I can even say too much. Amen. It's all right. I love it because he's my help. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's my help. And I want his help. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm breaking it down. I'm almost finished. The people came together. And they brought their oxen and their sheep. And they offered sacrifice to God. Amen. They offered a loud shouting unto God. Come on. They shouted aloud. Took that same scripture if you go down it. Amen. Praise God. They were shouting. They were playing trumpets. They were playing cornet. They were rejoicing. You don't want to praise God. But you want God to revive you. Look at what they did to get to the place of deliverance. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Our church is a growing cold. Everybody's tired. But we want the victory. Well, I'm telling you, church, I need the victory. I need to hear a shout in Zion. I need to see some walls coming down. I need to experience the fire of the Lord on the inside. I've got some things that I need him to burn out. When they did all that, God showed up. God showed up. God showed up. It is in returning to the Lord. God of Israel in the manner that the people of old did. This is not about the old school. It's, it's a saying today. I hear preachers saying it. And so it's spread through the congregation. It's old school. 
It just drives me crazy. Old school? God is old school? Praising God is old school? Giving God glory is old school? Really? There's no old school when you praise God. Amen. There is just a people worshiping their God. Open your mouth, clap your hands, stand on your feet, shout for joy, stop sitting down and looking like you're sleeping. It's not an old school, it's a now school. It is time for the church to praise its way out of darkness and into life. It's time for the church to arise. Arise. I said arise. You can't only took you to rise. You still sit. Wow. Yeah. Remember this and check yourselves. Because if I told you to arise, very few people rose up. Only another preacher could understand that. What are you doing? What God is telling you? Are you doing what He's saying to you? Or are you doing the formula of the world? It's time to wake up. Amen. We're being revived. Let's turn again. We need restoration. We need rest. There is restoration and rest in returning to the Lord. Let us return into his house. Let us bring back the things that are, 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 are meaningful and dedicate them to God. Let us be strong. That our hands be not weak. Hallelujah. We cannot afford to be weak. Let us turn again unto the Lord. That we might be rewarded for our work. Amen. It's time for the latter rain. We're right here. He could show up. It's time for the former and the latter. It's time for old school and new school to me. It's time for old school and new school to come together so we can experience the power. God bless you today. God bless you today. I told you that on my, in my sleep, I was revived. I got some electrical bolts last night or this morning. It was 4 a.m. Stood me right up out of my bed. What in my heart? In the natural. But I believe that God just infused my spiritual heart. And maybe my physical heart. Because the physical heart was a little shady. But I believe God for healing. Amen. So even when I stood up. I said. Ooh, is that a new heart? Who knows God is able to give you a new heart? If he can heal cancer, if he can turn stroke victims around. I told you about my ex-sister-in-law. She had a stroke. Every other part of her body moved fine, but no speech. Vocal cords are gone. And my phone rang. And she said, me. I said, that's you? She said, yes. Our oh, God is a good God. And if we believe him and trust him, there isn't anything impossible. Church, be revived. Amen. Wake up. Stand up. Yes. Be strong. Woo. Know that you're going to be rewarded in the end. What you're going through now, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Because it doesn't mean a thing. Because everything we have here is perishable. Yes. Amen. The house, the car, Amen. the fancy job. Come on, here. The nails, the shoes, the dresses, all the stuff, the hairdo, it's going away. Amen. But guess what? We have a greater coming. Amen. Yes. Yes. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a greater coming. A greater anointing. A greater outpouring. Turn your Bibles to Jeremiah 29, 13 quickly. I'm out. 
Hallelujah. Keep going. Oh my God. Help me, Jesus. Jeremiah 29. Thank you, Jesus. 29 and verse 13. This is what we need to do. Don't let anybody change your mind from doing this. Know this is the answer to every situation and to any problem you might have. He said, and you shall seek me, Jeremiah, and find me. Who is willing to find God? He said, you shall seek me. He's not going to come if you don't seek him. He said, you shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with what? All your heart. All your heart. All your heart. All of your mind. All of your strength. You shall seek me. We have gotten to a place of entitlement. We think that God owes us something. And he should just show up and give it to us. He's willing to give you everything you have a desire for. But you've got to seek him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James chapter 4 verse 8 through 10. And I'm closing. Hallelujah. We have a service tonight. Hallelujah. Here he says. Draw nigh to God. And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Are we double-minded today? I would say some of us are. Because we're good when we see everything's going right. But when things start to get a little funny around us, we start to wonder. I wonder, is he really going to do it? That's being double-minded. Can he do it? Can he hear me? When the enemy said, go to a hospital, wake your husband and, and, and go to a hospital. I thought, no, but God, you said you hear me. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I quickly flashed back. I said, you said you healed me. You said that by your strife, I am here. You said you took me. I began to preach to God. Yeah. Pastor, you preach. Yeah, I preached to God. I'll preach his word back to him. You said that by your stripes I am healed. You said whatever I ask in your name, believe it, I shall receive it. Hallelujah. So therefore, I believe it. I'm not waking up my husband. He's tired. I just kept going through the house. I started speaking in tongues. I am here. I am here. I don't know what that is, but I know one thing. I am here. I didn't care that my knees fell a little. Hallelujah. We gotta take authority. Amen. We gotta believe what we believe. Yeah. We gotta be knowing it. Don't think. I wonder. That's double mindedness. That's the wave. You ever watch the waves of the ocean by the beach? Yeah. No, he can't work with that. God don't work with that. Let me tell you straight up, he won't work with that. He works with a sound mind. One that says, I believe you're going to do it. You're going to do it for me because you're a God that keeps your word. You're a covenant keeper. And because you're a covenant keeper, I'm going to stand in my spot till my chest comes down. Amen. I'm going to stand in my place till my change comes. Because my change will come. Amen. Hallelujah. We're right here, church. Right here. It's time to stir up your spirit. Stir up your gifts. Use them. You're going down the road and somebody started talking. May I pray for you? Most people say yes because they're so weary. Yes. Hopelessness is in our land. We have fire on the inside. Let's use it. God bless you today. Amen. Pastor, would you like to come? Hallelujah. You want me to finish? Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. He's on our side, church. He's on our side. He's not leaving us. He will not forsake us. He can't do it. Hallelujah. He cannot do it. He does not know how to go back. He's not man that he should lie. Come on. He is God. He don't have a reason to change his mind. His mind is set. It's made up. It's a done deal. Who? How I love Jesus. I must have the Savior with me. I cannot walk alone. I must have Jesus with me. I must have him in the onward march of life. I must. Don't let's lay down our swords. Time to pick them up and fight like you're crazy. We need some crazy warriors today. We need some crazy warriors. It's time to put around, put, put down the nice it is. Come on. And be crazy for God. I'm crazy as you can get. And he said, chop it down. I'm chopping it down. I don't care who said I look crazy. I'm not with you. I'm with God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We need some crazy warrior. Who ever sees a warrior, a soldier? Stand up on your feet. Let me all out of here. Amen. Have you ever looked at soldiers fighting? What are the soldiers doing? How are they fighting? After they march, show me how they fight. Show me what they're doing. Okay? Those with bayonets, show me how you fight with your bayonets. Lord Jesus, the church don't know how to fight. See it in the natural, so it is in the spirit. As it's seen in the natural, so is it right now in the spirit. Amen. Soldiers with a war. Somebody give me a weapon. Give me something. Put something in my hand. Lord, I'm going to fight Sister Jack. Is that how we fight? I'm going to kill her. I'm not giving you nothing. I'm, gonna, I'm killing my enemy. Yeah. That's not going to work. The sword of the spirit. You understand what I'm saying to you, church? The sword of the spirit. We are in an army. And the greatest army of all, we're in it. Hallelujah. He chose us to be his warriors. And we want to fight like this. We're here to fight. The battle isn't ours, it is the Lord. But we are going to win this battle. Because God says, Hallelujah. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands and purify your heart. You double mind. It's time for the church to cry out. It's time for us to fall on our faces, weep and mourn. Yes, you, you don't want to give up your laughter and your joy. But if you give it up for a season to find God, when you get out, you're going to be filled with laughter. You're going to be filled with joy. You're going to be filled with the power of God. And you're going to be able to tear down strongholds. Yes. Amen. 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 Father God, play me something in the back. Something. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands, church. Lift up your hands toward heaven. Lift up your hands to Jesus. Surrender yourselves to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture said I must have the Savior with me. Hallelujah. For I dare not walk alone. Now I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me thrown. Then my soul will fear no ill. Hallelujah. Where he lead me, I will go. And I will go without a murmur. Hallelujah. His footsteps follow still. Hallelujah. He is a great God. He is a God of revival and restoration. He wants to empower the church again Amen. and fill us with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But he wants us to dig deep. Come on. 
wants to go on on the inside and pull up everything. Hallelujah. And give it to him. And watch him pour out his spirit in us. Jesus. And his eyes. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Turn it up. among us. Holy Spirit of God, we ask that you would pour out on us. Oh God, we ask that you will come and fill our empty vessels. Fill us, Lord, until we overflow. God, we ask that you will come and infuse us with your spirit again and give us power to run on, my God. Lord, we see that the time is drawing near. The hour is at hand. And Father God, we need you to revive our spirits. We need you to refresh our hearts. We need your fire to burn on the inside of us, God. And for you to be glorified in every area of our lives, in everything, God. We need you to show up. Show up, Father, in the midst of our worship. Show up in the midst of our praise. Show up in our bedrooms. Show up, my God, when we're walking down the street. Show up where we're driving. Show up. We need you, Jesus. We cannot be without you. We must have the Holy Spirit. We must have you with us. God, we cannot do this alone. The battle is hard and the conflict is sword. But God, we know that through you we have power to overcome the enemy. We know that there is healing in your wings. We know that we can be strengthened on the innermost being. My Lord God of heaven, I proclaim healing over your people. Every broken area of our lives. My God, in the physical body, I ask that you would touch. Pour out your spirit now. 
and heal your people. Father God, in the spirit realm, oh, lift us up, Lord, and take us higher in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we will not fail to give your name praise. We will not fail to give your name glory. We will not fail to honor you. You deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. And oh, God, even while we're still here, fellowshipping, waiting for the next service to begin, I pray for the speaker that is coming. I pray you will anoint him the more, strengthen him and undergird him the more. My God, that when we leave from here tonight, oh, God, we will leave with a fire burning brightly. My God, we will be infused uh, with the Spirit of God uh, oh, to go out and do great and mighty things uh, in the earth, my God, uh, on behalf of the kingdom of God in Christ Jesus. Uh, we thank you for your blood today. That blood that covers every sin. Uh, that blood that washes away every stain. Uh, oh, we thank you for it, Lord. Oh, over our homes, uh, over our little ones, uh, over our jobs, uh, over our physical being. God, everywhere, we ask you to show up and show out. Hallelujah. Provide for your people continually, even as you said that you will. And Lord, we will not fail to praise you, give you honor and glory. You deserve the praise. And it belongs to you. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. Let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Shout unto the Lord. All ye 